Look, this is my Guru's letter. I have my Guru's blessings. I will carve this deity for you. That is simply wonderful. I am really grateful to you, sir. Please, please accept this advance payment. And please let me know how much time it would take to carve the deity. To carve the deity, it will take at least six months. Six months. All right. I will meet you then. After spending four peaceful months in the holy dham of Mayapur, Atma Tattva Prabhu decided to go to South India and purchase the heavy brass paraphernalia required for Narasimha Dev's worship, and then he proceeded to collect the deity. हरे कृष्णा स्थापति जी ओ आत्म तत्व जी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा वॉट ब्रिंग्स यू यर वेल आई हैव जस्ट फिनिश्ड परचेजिंग ऑल द पैराफेनेलिया रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द वर्शिप ऑफ लॉर्ड नरसिम्हा देव एंड नाउ नाउ आई एम हियर टू कलेक्ट द डेटी डेटी वॉट डेटी वॉट डेटी स्थापति जी आई हैव कम यू कलेक्ट द डेटी ऑफ लॉर्ड उग्र नरसिम्हा Have you lost your senses? You have come here to collect the deity of Lord Ugra Narasimha. I haven't even found a suitable stone yet. But you told me he would be ready in 6 months. Yes, I will keep my promise. 6 months after I find a suitable stone. What? But there are big slabs of stone all over South India. Then what is the problem? And besides that What will I tell to the devotees in Mayapur? Atma Tattva ji, I am not making a grinding mortar. I am making a deity. The scriptures tell us that only a stone that has life can be used to make a Vishnu deity. When you hit seven points of the stone slab and they make the sound mentioned in the scriptures, only then that stone may be suitable for making a deity but then atma tatva ji there is also a second test to indicate whether the stone is a living stone or not there is a bug that eats granite if it eats from one side of the stone to the other and leaves a complete trail visible behind it only then the second test of such a living stone has been passed that stone is a living stone atma tatva ji and expressions can manifest from such a stone only and only from such a slab can i carve your narsimha dev such a stone speaks poetry all the features of deity sculpted from such a stone will be fully expressive and beautiful atma tatva ji please be patient I have been searching sincerely for your 6 foot slab. Well, it seems that I don't have a choice then. Well, Sthapati ji, the last time I came here, I forgot to tell you that we want a Pralad murti too. We want to worship Pralad Narsimha. What do you think? Well, I don't think that is possible. You want everything done exactly according to scriptures. Your Narsimha dev will be 4 feet high comparatively speaking that will make pralhad maharaj the size of an amoeba but we want pralhad maharaj to be 1 foot high fine but that means your narsimha dev will have to be about 120 feet high but that is not possible well then how do you expect me to carve pralhad you have to but then what about the comparison of the sizes no no That is not practically possible. You please carve as we are telling you. All right, I'll do that. But now, please let me do my work. Yes, of course, Thapati ji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Atma Tattva Prabhu shuttle back and forth from Mayapur to South India every thirty or forty days. Finally, the stone was found. 
and the sthapati became a transformed man for over a week he hardly spent any time at home hour after hour day after day he just sat staring at the slab he had a chalk in hand but didn't draw anything he refused to allow his laborers to do anything so what is the latest development sthapati ji well i have made a sketch on the stone is that all sthapati ji the mayapur managers are becoming impatient are you sure this deity will be finished in 6 months don't worry don't worry the work will be done after this the sthapati started carving the form himself with intense care and dedication After some time the stone had gone and the shape had come it took the sthapati a little over 12 months to finish carving the deity Finally I have finished carving the deity of Ugra Narsimha Oh that was really hard work and I sure deserve a break Well Let me visit my friends for a few days before informing Atma Tatwaji about this. It is a monsoon season and I feel it will be safe enough to lock up Lord Narasimha Dev securely in my thatch shed. Two days later स्थापति जी व्हाट इज द मैटर सुब्रमण्यम जी व्हाई आर यू सो वरीड स्थापति जी योर शेड व्हाट हैपेंड टू माय शेड योर शेड इज ऑन फायर अय्या की बड़ी चिड़ची की बड़ी चिड़ची व्हाट हाउ इज दैट पॉसिबल इट इज रेनिंग सो हेवीली एंड एवरीथिंग इज वेट यस बट द कोकोनट ट्री रूफ हैज कॉट फायर कम हरी अप हरी अप उड़ेंगे उड़ेंगे वेट आई नो व्हाई दिस इज हैपनिंग first i should call atma tatva ji hare krishna atma tatva das here hello atma tatva ji please please come and take your deity he is burning everything he has made it clear He wants to go now.
Finally, by his own will, the Lord was taken to Mayapur, and the installation of Lord Narasimhadev lasted for three days, from 28th of July to 30th July, 1986. And after this, there were no further disturbances, no attacks, no robberies, no decoits, and no injuries. With the appearance of Lord Narasimhadev began the era of protection of the devotees, both physically and spiritually. He is the one from whom even fear personified fears. And he is the one who provides fearlessness to his devotees from any situation or calamity, just like he did to Prahlad Maharaj. Shri Ugra Narsema Bhagwan Ki!
Yeah, uh, when I first came to know about the drama, <coughs> I was in Pune about a month ago, is it? Yeah. One month ago. <coughs> um, I got a chance to see it when they gave me the CD. Um, I'd heard about it before from some of the audience who had attended. So, um, the few people I, I spoke to, they were, well, they were surprised, most of them asking were not, not aware of the whole history of Lama Shemadev. So, it's good, it's part of our, uh, I guess, the historical development of Mayapur. And, and uh, you know, in different countries, the Modi's go through different situations, sometimes a little bit difficult. But uh, Krishna is very kind to uh, <coughs> somehow overcome whatever obstacles are there. So anyways, I think it, it helps understand and appreciate more Lama Shunadu's presence here in Mayapur. Not only Lama Shunadu is protecting Mayapur, but actually uh, the whole society. That's why Prabhupada mentioned her explaining that uh, both in the morning and in the evening, you know, we are always chanting the National Day prayers because this crime as a society is, is, is actually confronting uh, present day demonic civilization. So there's going to be opposing elements. So anyways, those who put that together, uh, they definitely need to be congratulated. <laughs> you <all of> you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who thought about it, but uh, it's, it's quite good. I have forgotten the actual date, but you know, when you put it as a title, March 24th, the like May 4th, that's when the Dakoids had, had attacked here in my point. So, yeah, we well done, and, and, and I think uh, the more the uh, more the more you can see it and you can understand a bit more about some some of the developments in my and, and, uh, and especially about the Shri very special special presence of the Shri in that whole history. And the characters that uh, yeah are authentic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the name uh, the name of the Pumu is the main person. Mm -hmm. Arranging it while I'm training. Uh, I, I can definitely, uh, you know, <coughs> confirm that I was. Uh, <laughs> but at the time, I said that name probably should be changed because I, I was not Bhakti Rai was funny. Yeah, I was not a pundit. And, anyways, a few little things like that, but probably nobody knows Rai was funny. Brahma Sir. You know, the rest of the we all. Yeah, more devotees can see that, and, and uh, maybe they can do it in other languages also. Okay. Thanks. Hi. Thank you. I saw the DVD, the drama. Uh, we showed it at the main stage a couple of nights ago, and that was the first time that I had seen it, and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. The opening was brilliant, very dramatic opening, and just for the record, those who the devotees who were playing the Muslims, the actual that they look like Muslims, they really did. I, I, I thought it was actually Muslims playing playing Muslims. A very dramatic opening, and it really uh, captured the attention, or well, my attention, and sure captured everybody else's attention for the rest of the drama. And the drama wasn't too long, 35 minutes or so, so it wasn't too long. And then it tells the wonderful story. Initially, it's obviously it's a, a, a shocking start where the body get injured, one body, two the body getting shot, one body losing his leg. Uh, so that's shocking, and then also shocking is that the deity of Shumata Radharani was stolen. So initially, it's, it, 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 the whole thing is actually quite wow. But then the uh, pastime of the installation of the uh, Sanu Uber and the Shinga deity, and of course now we know that was 1984 that that uh, took place. We are now 2009, so my mathematics tells me that is uh, 25 years ago. Um, and 25 years on, we've never had such a problem like that. So Lord Nishin is here now to protect us, and uh, hopefully something as shocking as that won't happen again. But from a, from a um, drama point of view, from, from a uh, um, artistic point of view, and from an entertainment point of view, 
the DVD was absolutely superb. Thank you.